good morning students today i will teach you the remaining part of the chapter human circulatory system look into your book students page number 4 and 5 and see the diagrams of heart and blood circulation given so let us begin what is heart heart is a pumping organ it's a muscular hollow organ where it is located it is located or it lies in the chest cavity between the lungs you can look into the diagram now the heart is enclosed in a double membrane what is it called as pericardium what is the function of pericardium it protects the heart from injury now in between the membranes or in between the walls of the heart that is this double membrane pericardium in between it pericardial fluid is present the function of pericardial fluid is it allows free movement of heart now coming to the structure of heart heart has got four chambers right auricle right ventricle left auricle left ventricle so now let us come to the circulation of blood in heart students you look into the diagram which is given in your book the circulation of blood in heart is called as double circulation why because it has got two circulations one serving the lungs is called pulmonary circulation the other serving rest of the body is called systemic circulation now let us start with the circulation of blood blood from different parts of the body mainly deoxygenated blood from superior and inferior vena cava superior vena cava brings blood from upper parts of the body inferior vena cava brings blood from lower parts of the body that is they bring deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body and pour it to right auricle then the deoxygenated blood from right auricle goes to right ventricle because the right auricle always has to give the blood or from right auricle the blood flows to right ventricle because of gravity now from right ventricle the blood goes to pulmonary artery that is the deoxygenated blood wherever db is written it's deoxygenated blood the pulmonary artery arises from right ventricle so the blood from pulmonary artery goes to lungs now from lungs the blood is oxygenated now and it goes to pulmonary vein from pulmonary vein the blood goes goes to left auricle from left auricle the blood flows to left ventricle from left ventricle aorta arises aorta again branches into many arteries and supplies blood to different parts of the body again from different parts of the body the deoxygenated blood is collected and is poured into the right auricle now students wherever db is written that is deoxygenated blood and wherever ob is written it is oxygenated blood so students the remaining part the next day good morning students today i will teach you the remaining part of the chapter human circulatory system now students look into your books page number 4 and see the table given showing difference between arteries and veins so let us begin difference between arteries and veins arteries carry oxygenated blood whereas veins carry deoxygenated blood that day i had told you that arteries carry blood from heart to different parts of our body now arteries which type of blood they carry they carry oxygenated blood whereas veins they bring back blood from different parts of body to heart 
so they bring deoxygenated blood from different parts of body to heart arteries have thick walls veins have thin walls arteries have do not have valves whereas veins have valves blood flows at a high pressure in arteries whereas blood flows slowly in veins now all the arteries they carry oxygenated blood except pulmonary artery pulmonary artery arises from heart and goes to lungs now veins all the veins carry deoxygenated blood except pulmonary vein pulmonary vein arises from lungs and goes to heart now let us come to some questions like what is oxygenated and deoxygenated blood oxygenated blood means blood which is rich in oxygen or we can say pure blood what is deoxygenated blood deoxygenated blood means blood which has more carbon dioxide or we say it's impure blood now why arteries have thick walls in arteries blood flows with great pressure so to withstand that pressure arteries have thick walls why arteries do not have valves whereas veins have valves pressure of the blood from heart pumps blood to arteries so they do not need valves by the time the blood reaches the veins they the flow of the blood slows down so to prevent back flow of of uh, blood the veins have valves why blood flows in jerks and at a high pressure in arteries pressure of the blood from heart keeps the blood at a high pressure in arteries or the blood flows at a high pressure in arteries because of the pressure of the blood from heart now each time heart pumps it pushes the blood a little further so the blood flows in jerks so students we'll do the remaining pages next time